Hey guys, it's Jamie from Futsal Miniatures here. I would like to welcome you to the 10th episode in Futsal Friday, a series where we look at basic modelling and painting techniques to get our forces onto the tabletop quickly. Today's episode showcases an easy way to model desert bases. All minis used are linked below and please remember if you like this content, like, comment and subscribe. This video also finishes the priest model we have been painting over the previous episodes. I hope you like him, and this is quite a quick video, but first I will show you the base and model from a couple of different angles. To skip to the tutorial, please go ahead to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So to begin with, I thought I would show you the materials used. The base of the priest is already painted in a cream colour. Then I have some sandy tufts from Warlord Games and War Worlds Scenics. I really love these, as not only are they dry grass tufts that look realistic, but around the base of each are small ready painted rocks. I also picked up their yellow lichen to add further interest. Finally, I grabbed three Amal by McHimenez pigments, Middle East dust, North Africa dust and sand to use to add colour and texture to the base, as well as pigment fixer. And the last tool is an old cheap brush, as basing can get messy and is very hard wearing. The first step is to dab the pigments on. I use a dry brush for this and work my way from darkest to lightest. The colours I use here were also used to add dust weathering to his robe, tying the miniature into the base and the narrative we are trying to create. Narrative is at the heart of basing and weathering, and I find this part of a paint job really fun and it brings the model together. I prefer using pigments to basing material, as pigments dry nice and thin, and therefore do not obscure the feet, meaning the miniature looks like he is standing on top of the ground and not sinking into it. To seal this, we use Amol Pigment Fixer. This bonds the pigments to the base. Simply dab this on. It will look like the pigment has washed off, but give it a chance to dry and it will reappear. Pigment Fixer is preferable to varnish, as it doesn't tint the colour of the pigment or the paint. The next step is simply to attach the basing materials using PVA glue. We use PVA glue over super glue, as it dries clear. On a desert base, I do not use too many basing materials, just enough to create a bit of interest. I hope you can see these at home, and they save us the time and effort of doing these ourselves. If you are unhappy with the size of the tufts or lichen, feel free to tear it apart to make smaller clumps. With this done, the miniature is ready for the tabletop. I hope you have enjoyed this short and sweet walkthrough. Next week we will look at Little Big Man Studios shield decals and how to use them. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.
Hear ye, hear ye. Futsal Miniatures, 28mm historical miniatures. Futsal takes pride in the highest quality metal models. Available in the UK, US and worldwide. Futsal believes in delivering high quality products. Find out more at futsalminiatures.co.uk